Uh, my name's Matt Bow. We're trying the first ever blended reality tutorial, which means that we've got students who are coming in remotely via virtual world avatars uh, using a new web com uh, new virtual world system called Avaya Live, um, Avaya Live Engage. In the other room, we've got um, uh, some virtual world set up with the with a screen. Um, and we're going to record the virtual world there. We've got students, we're going to be working in groups down here. Um, and it's where we've got me as the teacher up the front. And we're going to try and go live now. Oh, what? It's all changed. It's all different. Come in, come in, come in. So, um, probably best, actually, just come in and stand in the center. Let me introduce you to what's going on and what's going to happen. I want you to think of this as uh, another um, part of this classroom. So there's Steve. Steve, can you hear me? Can you wave if you can hear me? Can you press one to wave? Thank you. <laughs> and there's Steve, okay? So in a moment, half of you guys are going to be uh, in the other room. And you've got to think of this, if you're in, stay in the classroom here, as a window into another half of the classroom, if you like. Okay, it's just like a view into another half of the classroom. And similarly, let me show you at the front here. I'm, I'm in the world at the moment. If I walk around, this is the classroom that some of you will be in. If I walk around here, you can see, just spin around now and wave at the camera behind you, and you can see, <laughs> if you're in the virtual world, you can see what's happening in the face-to-face -face classroom. So now, I, and um, Belinda, do you want to just um, unmute your microphone and just say hello to us? Hi guys, how are you? Hi. What we're trying to do is hold a live tutorial class where some of the students are in the face-to-face -face classroom, which is you guys, and others are participating via a vir virtual world. All right. Now. Um, having those remote and face-to-face -face tutorial participants uh, interact and collaborate in this way, we think is the first time it's ever been done like this, where there's both us that can see them and them that can see us. And we've also got a situation where we want to be able to put um, these people together in real time for a whole lot of different um, things like troubleshooting, um, things that require uh, real-time interaction and um, we can use video conferencing like Skype, we can use web conferencing like Collaborate that we use in our lectures and you can also use virtual worlds. Um, you know how in lectures when I say to you guys, look, um, you know, what do people think about this sort of issue in educational technology? I get some of you in the lecture theatre to answer and other people are answering by text chat, right? So, Waving to everyone, you, waving, everyone's waving. But if you think virtual worlds are incredibly useful, can you stand up this end? And if you think that they're not at all relevant and useful, can you stand down this end? And facing, facing the rest of the class. So what we've got is sort of people grouped along that spectrum. Now what I want to hear from different people in the group is why you chose that particular Point. Belinda, you're sort of in, in between those. Could you share your perceptions um, about the usefulness and relevance of virtual worlds in education? Okay, um, I'll just let you know my network is not so good, so you may have problems hearing me. Um, basically, it's in between those two. There are cases where virtual reality would be really useful. Uh, particularly for students, obviously, who can't uh, physically uh, go to go to the class for whatever reason, sickness, or anything like that. Mm. But as Carolyn said, it has to be appropriate to the situation. So mm. I think it will be very useful. So we're going to now spin to the real classroom here. <laughs> and um, we're going to see some different ends of the spectrum here. So. Okay, uh, I think they're relevant, that's yep. where I am. Um, actually, we were just talking about this with my society culture class. We were saying 
that with the socialisation process in school, maybe if you're in a remote village, um, there's only a few teachers that you can get socialisation from. Um, but if you're in uh, the North Shore, there are so many different teachers, so many different students which you can get your socialisation, your perspectives from. So if there's a virtual world where maybe um, some rural students can have it in a North Shore kind of classroom, they're given so many different perspectives on life, so many different um, opinions, so they can mm. interact a lot more from their remote village. So, yeah, Philip, what do you think? Why is it not so relevant to you? I think uh, it, it probably is relevant. Maybe the technology needs to get a little bit better mm -hmm. to make it a bit easier and, and seamless. Um, but I'd also like to compare this with something like Blackboard yeah. Collaborate, and maybe that's a bit more straightforward, less distractions. It has you speaking, the slides coming up in real time, mm. and you can ask questions without all the moving around. And like, what's that's a really good point. Now, we're going to do a bit of group work, and what I want you to do is in your groups have a bit of a brainstorm for the advantages and issues. So we've had an initial discussion to get your mind going and see where you're positioned, but now I want you to see how many different advantages and issues associated with the use of virtual worlds you can come up with. If you're a student in the virtual world, I want you not yet, in a moment, to go outside and to your left and around the brick wall, and there's three breakout rooms. Breakout room one, two, and three. Can you evenly divide yourself into those three rooms? Tell us your lesson, breakout room one. Okay, um, when you came up with the idea of saying, I could stand, um, we came up with the idea of running a, a virtual debate for, uh -huh. um, for high school students. Group one, a language lesson. So can you explain the idea just in a nutshell? Um, so basically what we were just saying is that um, sometimes schools have a sister school overseas, so like a Japanese sister school that you can interact with. So if we were to have some students from Australia to go overseas to our sister school in Japan, uh -huh. um, we could do a Japanese lesson via face to face with the Australians and the Japanese students in classroom, as well as virtual or both virtual. So we could have um, yeah, everyone interacting with one another either face to face or virtual. But um, before we finish, I'd just like to say that I think, as far as we know, that you were the first people in history ever to do a blended reality tutorial. So can everyone please clap and jump up there? Thanks very much, everyone.